Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hot minute. Probably a couple. I don't even know. Why do I? Someone said, "Hey, what's up, man?" What's up, you know? What's up? Been a while since we did a live, so I was just jumping on and maybe we'll go down there and get some beignets or something like that. We're just giving some people some time to come in. Let us know where you're from. They said, Ralphie. What's up, J y'all? Money. What's up, J Money? We need some of that money, bro. With a name like that, you got all the money. That's where it's at. <laughs> Been the gamers at a low. What's up? Are you going shopping for butter? Man, I need some butter. I really need some beignets right now. Love from the UK. What's up, UK? The bacon's it. the best. Oh, look at Jacqueline on here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jacqueline? What state are you from? We're right here in New Orleans, y'all. New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> and then the legend is motherfucking... Oh, I can't curse on YouTube. It's back. We're <laughs> back, baby. We're <clears throat> back. I don't know where we got one. I'm going to go down there and get some money from the ATM. I'm going to go get some beignets. All right, beignets it is, y'all. Yes, indeed. Love from South Africa. Love this channel. South Africa, we appreciate you. Got Cali. What's up, Cali? Germany. Oh, Germany, what's up? Ooh, they said you're a beautiful man, baby. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. <laughs> India, love the accent. Ralph. Man, it's been so long, y'all. It's crazy how long it's been, huh? I know, huh? Man, it's been a minute. Tell you that right now. It's been a good minute. <laughs> Let's go. you the goat. For real, smoke, my boy. We're about to roll, y'all. We're about to... Maybe we can talk Sarah into a little uh, poker action later. I don't know, bro. I don't know about all of that. What's up, Lake Charles? Oh, they're living Charles. in San Diego. What's up, Robert? Right. Get this beignets from Texas, Michigan. What's up, Michigan? What's up, Fat Cat? People in Texas, what's going on out there? I know they got some rain and all that. I think we had yesterday. Oh, we missed you too, Jacqueline. What's up, Virginia? We got Mississippi. Hit what's it with that Cajun seasoning. Got to, baby. Y'all already know. You're an inspiration. I'm trying to keep up, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. It is 7.41 p.m. Extra dark with this tent, y'all. I, I, I think this tent is very much illegal. What's up, Adam? Uh, Giles said, what's up from Denim Springs? Giles from Denim... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I was reading the comments. I was like, hold on, guys. I got to turn y'all away from the ATM for a minute. Not that I got nothing y'all can take because I'm broke. For real, huh? <laughs> you be I was like, can y'all make some deposits in there? Because you ain't making no withdrawals. All right. Thank you, TT. Yeah, y'all hit that smash. Y'all smash the like button. That's where we go to the bar sometimes, y'all. Oscar's across the street oh, right yeah, now. Let's see if I can show it to you. What's up, Miss Mary? All right, right over there in the dark area. They got a bar that we go to a lot. How's it going? What's up, Zach from Cincinnati? Ooh, Cincinnati. yes. Okay, Michael, try that pineapple upside down cake. It is so good. What's up, New Jersey? Oh, okay. So, we, TC, we are actually right down the street from there. It's actually right down Metairie Road. What is it? No Joe's, jo, nor Joe's, where oh, yeah. we go get the muffalata. Yeah, mm hmm. Yes, yeah, indeed. That's some good food. Yeah, you don't bro. need money. You got the butter. What's up, Ohio? What's yeah, Virginia? Yeah. If I could pay bills with butter, I'd be all right. Shit, for real, huh? Oh, real dude, respect. No. Love from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Born in Jennings, Louisiana. Ralph, that dude, for real. Appreciate y'all, All right, man. can I show you, Naomi? Because yeah, they man. looking at this dirty windshield. Home is where you make it. <laughs> I got a star note, so I can't spend that one. Y'all know what a star note is? I said, love from Los Angeles. You see my star note? Just got out the ATM. Y'all see it? You can't really. Uh, yeah, you can see a little bit. It's not the light. It's just kind of see through. What the hell, you Ralph? Mean? I don't think you could take the millions out the ATM. Shit. <laughs> said. I was just looking at my thirteen dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just with y'all, man. Just Make some gumbo. Yeah, it's, it's about almost that time of year, no? Well, not that I don't make it, man. I, they had somebody behind us, and I was playing around to my star notes. The south is open right there for a snowball. They gonna be closing them soon. Closing what? <laughs> the snowball stands. 
be on them when they close. Just watch a pork tacos earlier. It looks delicious. I have a restaurant, electric flat grill instead of Blackstone, but can't wait to That's try awesome. them. Oh, well, yeah, you can like those. So man. good. Man, those look good. I'm telling you, right? Everybody now. was kind of like, there was a lot of mixed comments I found, like about the pineapple part. And so the in my opinion like the little chunks when he cooked it down like that it you really didn't taste like a super lot of pineapple because it was kind of infused with all like all the juice and the seasonings of the pork and like all the seasonings used and it like enhanced it but it wasn't like yeah. super pineapple-y you know what i'm saying like yeah. even if you ate a chunk they kind of like dissolved down a little bit if that makes sense it was really really good Uh, we got a hundred. That's good for not being on for so long. I'm trade you some natural hot chicken for some of that pineapple cake. I'm <laughs> telling you. What's the dates of crawfish season, baby? Man, whenever they want to start with them. But normally, y'all, I say around around my birthday. So February 9th, y'all, around February, they start to come out and get good. But really, they don't really... It all depends on the season, honestly, because this season was just shitty. Yeah, it's me all yeah. around. Mm -hmm. Like, it just depends, honestly. I mean, normally around February, they're a little bit expensive, all the way down, what, Easter. I mm -hmm. mean, but they just get hard, or you might not even have a good year. You could not have a good season. Now, of course, they're still going to sell them, but, like, the shells just seem to always stay hard on them sometimes, you know? You might literally only have a good one month or even three weeks y'all you know, where, the, where, the, where they're actually good they're not too hard and they're not you know what i'm saying it's stupid but i don't know i mean technically it's what february to june yeah, or, but, or like may ish june yeah but they ain't really real you know what i'm saying they still pulling them out you know what i'm saying but they're gonna start getting small shells will be extra hard it's hard it's hard to say y'all all i know is around february they're normally good around my birthday and uh then it just you just go from there you kind of really nowadays y'all i find it like around easter is your best time but i suggest waiting like a week after easter because they're the most expensive well really all of lent season is they're the most expensive but they are really usually the best yeah i could agree with that but i wait i say wait have your crawfish bowl a week after easter like that weekend after and you're gonna get them a lot cheaper and they're still like in that good time. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. All right. All right. What's up, David? He said, I like a new ride. Did RJ get to drive it yet? Yeah, I let that fool drive it and Sarah got all mad at me and all that would hang you. <laughs> Sarah's like, you can't be having this boy drive this expensive car. I'm like, man, got insurance to be all right. Yeah, but he ain't licensed, fool. I told you we're gonna switch seats, man. Ralph, you cannot teach that boy that. That is illegal. My hands itching, bro. I might get some money soon. <laughs> um, I might get some money, right, baby. Let's see. All right, wait, hold on. Let me. Uh, what's up, Callie Misfit? We haven't seen y'all in a while. Okay. Um, do you still want to climb some trees? Nah, man. Them, them my tree climbing days is old, y'all. I'm tired of them. I could not. I mean, don't get me wrong. For the right money, I'd do it, but. <laughs> so we're also real G. <laughs> Man, for the right money, y'all, I'd do it, but uh No, hell no. You are not allowed to climb trees anymore. I had my days on that. I made a lot of money in the tree business and uh I lived through it. Can you still see me? Hell no. Yeah, uh-huh. You sure? I'm gonna shut it if so. Yeah, you can still see it. That's better. <laughs> But, uh, I want to get pulled over. I was blessed, man. I didn't get killed cutting them trees down, so I ain't gonna go back to that. At least sometimes you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. That one I got to close down. Yeah, I agree. What's up, New Jersey? It's good money in it, though, if you do it for yourself. Yes, and you're properly trained, but it's still dangerous. Oh, your dad said that you have a star bell, a star note. Yeah, dad, I got one for you right here. I put it on the side right here. Bro, how he's in there stalking these star notes, bro? <laughs> you heard star note on a on a YouTube, and he said, "Let me come in in, got the, it right here, in the live." I got it right here. Little Pop. pops, he's got it for you. He got checks it. every day, every time he gets any cash. Got a twenty dollars star note right there. <laughs> so I put that on the side right here, so I don't spend it. Man, when Ralph gets shots at the wait, hold on, and the bullet turns out out of fear. What? What's this fool stopping for? Bro? I don't know. No, what's going on, sir? Oh, 
Oh, oh. oh my God, bro. You don't know stopped. how to drive him. We might do better with RJ driving. That's why he stopped. Love your videos. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, y'all. Oh, let's see if I Wait, missed it. I got to go. Let me think. Where is that? It's on. Uh, I got to go down here to get these videos. Oh, thank God you ain't going to the one in New Orleans. Y'all want to go to the French Quarter? No, hell no. Do not. You going to let me out this car. I ain't going to the French Quarter right now. So scary, man. Uh -uh. Man, these windows are tinted out. Bring them you didn't see the guy that just got jacked out the Mercedes they at a red light in broad daylight? They can't even see how many people's in this car. They don't want this car. They don't give a damn. They come in 10 deep. 10 deep. deep and they deep. all they all fully loaded, ready to, like, no, they don't care. Bro, Sarah acts like we live they in the wild, wild west. We bro. do. Boy, boy, boy. Let it out. They done decorated on Halloween already. Bro, <laughs> bro drives better than it cooks. What you mean? My baby can cook. Now he will burn down all the food on a barbecue pit. That's all right. I don't need that damn barbecue pit. <laughs> what's up, Ralph the Baker? What's up? What's up? Raggedy Ralph. What you up to, my yeah. man? Go on down there and y'all get some uh, beignets and uh, might even stop and get me ice cream or uh, coffee and splurge out, but then I won't sleep tonight. But hell with it. See, Sarah spitting facts. See, they know what's up. I ain't going to New Orleans. But I ain't crossing crossing the parish lines these days. We'll be all right. These kids don't give a damn. Man, we'll be all right. <laughs> if a bear sees Ralph and prays for safety. <laughs> oh, y'all crazy. Oh, y'all crazy. Then I saw the sawhorse grill oh. had me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to Katrina Day. What a makeshift girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can still call her all Big Papa. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, crazy. my God. That is so funny. Bro was dying laughing at that one. That was funny. That was really yeah, funny. Sarah would have been over there getting famous and shit, bro. Hell no. Sarah getting 50, 60,000 views, y'all. She's coming up. <laughs> Put a little Cajun seasoning, y'all. That's it. Put that Cajun seasoning, baby. That and some butter, you'll be all right. Right? Man, and some butter. Where the hell is at? Clear you were supposed to go down Clearview, baby. You went down Cleary. Hey, man. I mean, you can just make the U-turn and go down Vets all the way. Yeah, I guess that's my only option right now. Oh, Lord, if you don't wreck us, man. Man, you must be looking through the camera. Driving just fine here. <laughs> so we're going to take over the channel, y'all. She might, bro. She blowing up on me, bro. She getting big. Hell no. I can't cook. I'll take over the channel, but y'all ain't going to like what I got to cook. Because I cannot cook. You need to cook some stuff up, man. I mean. Tonight, y'all, we made some yaki meat. That was good, boy. I guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, we need to make money like them, bro. We are going to Cafe Du Mont. Or we're going to the one on Vets in Mattery. Well, I was burning down the house. No, Callie. Well, Callie Misfit, we do have another channel. I ain't going to lie that on YouTube, it's got a couple thousand. Well, we haven't posted there in front. Ever. Like, we only posted I'm a couple of videos. I'm my podcast, bro. Now, yes. Now, but we wasn't supposed to announce that yet. Oh, I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> you so aggravating. Anyways, but no, he's talking about on Instagram. On my Instagram. But I don't have no followers or nothing. Man, if Ralph falls down, the ground gets bruised. <laughs> boy, y'all crazy, boy. <laughs> it's a forerunner. Forerunner, baby. Wreck It Ralph podcast. It's gonna be good. We gotta get some people in. It bro. is gonna be good. We gotta get some people in to come and talk. Some some uh, get some action happening. Yes, it is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We're getting like all the equipment and stuff. We're trying to get a couple series I've been going popped off. bro. Seeing what they got happening. <laughs> the Goodwill. Ralph, a podcast is stationary, fool. Oh, I'm saying I need to get some equipment. Oh, yeah. Goodwill equipment. Damn right. I don't know if they got anything that uh, would be quite compatible <laughs> for what we got to do. Oh, look at Muddy's in the house. Muddy, what's up, babe? 
man, the kids just asked me when we was going over there. They asked me that earlier today. They was like, Mom, we got the car. When are we going to Alabama? Yeah, but I made a, uh, uh, I, uh, I seen him, bro, and when the third row seats up, we ain't got no room for a suitcase in this jump, bro. We just need that little trailer thingy like Muddy had on the back of the truck that day. Oh, boy, boy. I ain't realized it until we done bought it. I mean, we had to get what we get. <laughs> Can the first episode be with a guest speaker from Wildlife and Fish Game? I ain't trying to go to jail on the first episode. <laughs> Jack was trying to get you set up on the Straight first the episode. Straight from the jump, bro. Straight to jail. Oh, my God. What's up? Uh, Brock Petty asked if you could say what's up to him. Give what's him a up, shout Brock out. Petty? Appreciate you, man. What's going on? Uh, what's up, Peter? Who else? What's up, Ralph the Baker? James from Williamsburg, Virginia. All right, James. What's going on? Y'all, how the weather out there by y'all? It's, it's hot out there. It's getting cold. What's going on? We got one love from Cali. What's up, Cal? Thoughts on crab ragoons. I love, I love some crab ragoons. What you want to know about? Oh, so you know what I wanted to tell you the other day? Which one? Oh, man. I'm so glad someone brought that up. So remember when we ordered the crab ragoons a couple, like, what was that? When, when did we get Chinese food? Like, a couple, weeks, a couple ago? weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. They stopped putting crab in it and it was bacon. Oh, I swear to God, you like. I, on, I can't believe you didn't taste it. I kept thinking, what is this taste? And it was like some kind of a seafoody type of tang. But then I, I bit on a piece of uh, bacon. I said, these do dirty dog liars. What's up from Alexandria? If Ralph gets cuffed and tased on the first episode, guarantee million views. I will. I'm on live YouTube. Put the phone down. You can't be texting and driving. 93 in San Diego. Man, that's hot as hell, man. What is it out here? Let me, let me see. It's 82 right now. Y'all in the heat, bro. And that's raggedy, man. Well, we've only not had the bad heat because we're on 56 days of consecutive rain. Man, y'all. My neighbor's calling complaining on me, bro. Talking about I got the other SUV on the sidewalk. A couple of weeks. I'm, I'm looking for a, a, a mannequin prostitute right I'm a drug like prostitute, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and then the neighbors got Trump 2024. Y'all know I don't do politics either or vote who you want. But since she's got that, I'm going to put Big Joe 2024 <laughs> in her hands, bro. Let her hold it, bro. Hold the sign just to piss them off. Why she's got to be a prostitute mannequin now? Oh, because I'm going to make it look like she's going gonna, gonna to like she come out the streets, bro. Right in my front yard, bro. Like Tell an me. airline street walker? Tell you now. Go to, telling me about that. Y'all let the am lambs go, you assholes. Oh, they better know to let them go in the name of Jesus. Go. So, yeah, we got all that going down. Y'all going to see. I'll show y'all the picture. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all going to see. Call code enforcement on our. Because we had. We have another big expedition SUV. It's like an old. old. Brand, that big brand. That it's old huge. Brand. Super Bowl Street night. Walker. <laughs> if Ralph crashes, he injures the car. <laughs> <laughs> I love the content. Content. When y'all gonna collab with Dustin Poirier? How you say? Is it Poirier? Poirier? Poirier. Poirier. I know you're talking about. The boxer? Man, no. He's the UFC fighter, man. UFC? Oh. Bro, people Wait, he's in the UFC? We, I, I tell you who we can get with for sure. What's his name? We get with Diego, bro. Diego. We get with him. We can, we can get with him. He's the, he's the UFC We gotta go to Georgia, though. Maybe come down here for the build a podcast. That'd be a good one. Oh, that idea. would be good. Next time they come out here. No, oh. man, I don't know. You got to fly down here to do that. He ain't got time to come fly out here with you. Damn, bro. Nobody wants to do nothing these days. Yeah, bro. so anyways, the expedition is parked in our front yard. Like, you know, like street side. Like, you know, along the curb. I don't know if y'all all got curbside, but we got a driveway. We can't. It's been raining 57 freaking days. Our yard has been like a puddle, so we moved the expedition because oh. our driveway kind of sucks and it's holding water. We did it to so tear up the new the neighbor's lawn next door, and they called code enforcement on us for our expedition meeting. We was trying to be good neighbors. I got some fun. I'm gonna show them good now. War has been declared. I love your shorts from France. <laughs> France, I appreciate it. Greetings from Tampa. So Tampa, I almost died in Tampa one time. Me and Sarah, remember we went out there on that raft on that beautiful beach. Uh, Sherry, if I'm sorry, sometimes the comments come in and we don't always see everybody, and it's not to try to not acknowledge everyone. I try my best. I'm sorry. Um, she kind of sucks. Just forgive her. I do. All right, what's Just your best advice? 
I'm gonna go get it's, some beignets. This is where we get the beignets, y'all. You want some? Yes, I would like one you order, please. You want some please. chocolate peak coffee? Some what? I'm gonna go down there and get a coffee. You want one of these? No, I don't want this. This is hick. This is the the chicory coffee. Chicory, I don't want no yeah. chicory. Um. All right. Well, what'd you ask? I'm sorry. Okay. So someone asked real quick. I'm sorry. What is your best advice for making pasta? Um. Don't overcook your pasta. Make sure you. I don't know what the hell. What kind of pasta? <laughs> Like, is this a trick question? Right. Like, All right, I'm gonna tell you because this, this is the only I mean, thing I could do pretty good. Is, save some pasta water. Yes, I was gonna say always save some pasta water just in case if you need to thicken your sauce. And what else you gonna say? I was gonna say That's if you're gonna salt your water, always do it beforehand, not when your water's boiling because it'll completely change. Like, if you add salt after it starts to boil, it messes plate. it up. All right. Is the French Quarter considered a dangerous place for a tourist? Oh, yeah. Very. That's why Sarah won't let us go there now, bro. Yes, it no, has they been. Said, they done come on the news. They done said if you get raped, rape, armed robbery, or a car accident, don't even call the police. Don't, don't even call them, bro. Yeah. Don't even call they them. They can't bro. help you right now. They have NOPD has about Thank you. 30 to 40 cops on duty per shift okay go, that is for the population in new orleans now i could be messed up on the numbers but it ain't a good it ain't the right amount of numbers that we need <laughs> in new orleans like cop per population ratio no cops, and it's wild wild west there's like 11 yesterday i want to say our labor day there was 11 carjackings and that's a lot. That is a lot. I don't think Sarah might be involved in that. Down no. I don't want no part of that. I don't even want to cross the parish lines right now. It is so bad. Shootings are bad. Carjack is a bad. It's Yo, starting get, to trickle out into Madrid. You get a pack of beignets for two dollars seventy three cents, y'all. That ain't too bad. That is not too bad. Sherry said it is dangerous to live there 42 years. I stay away. Yeah, it's just sad, man. It's beautiful place. <laughs> Ralph, what is the best advice for making crime happen? <laughs> what? When everybody go broke and start suffering, <laughs> let everything go up but people's paychecks and watch how the crime goes up. That's how that happens. Right. Right? What's happening now? This is a live. I meant to say either yesterday or Labor Day there was eleven carjackings. I don't know. I don't know what day I'm. What's today? Thursday. Man, that probably Wednesday. Night, man. I don't know. We have night, we have ten to twenty carjackings per night. I can't. It could be yesterday, today, or tomorrow. It's all the same. Yep. They ain't the lie there. <laughs> I've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> it's tequila Thursday all. <laughs> That's right. No, hell no. And then wrong with that. Bro. Oh, Thirsty Thursday for Ralphie. Yeah. My wife and I love your videos. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate y'all. I need a little tequila in my life right now. I know, for real, huh, David? But I don't know. That, that don't even help. I can't say those words on live, David, but it don't even help you because when they surround a the car, it's about three to four deep, and they all, so you got Man, one you and know. they got three because that's always the testimony of <laughs> it. <laughs> Ralph is speeding and the cop pulled himself over. <laughs> Why? What's up, GJ? Tomorrow is yesterday's future. Yeah. I gained 20 pounds watching your vids. I'm right now. I love your videos from France. Appreciate it, France. Definitely appreciate it. Oh, Lord, Alejandro. Alejandro. What's that do? What's up, Fort Worth, Texas? Texas always in the house. What's up, Texas? Let's go, people. What y'all ordered? All the damn beignets in the building? Let's get it moving. No, huh? Oh, 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 Lord. Crazy. Is that a voodoo? <laughs> Look at his face. We don't need no voodoo, bro. <laughs> Just offer the cop a piece of upside down pineapple cake and I'll let y'all be easy. Yeah, that's right. That'd be nice. Uh... 
<laughs> Ralphie, what's up, boy? Man, I'm getting some beignets, chilling out, y'all. Ain't, ain't too much. Ain't just, too much. Oh, wait. I just started watching your cooking videos. I love your delivery. You're inspiring. Awesome. Huh? That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Your dad said, where are you going? I ain't going nowhere, Pop. We're uh, getting some beignets. I ain't know you are still on there. No, he heard us talk about New Orleans. He want to make sure Don't we wasn't going. Start North tonight? <laughs> I like your shorts. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Man, oh, Ruby, what is that? Come on, let's get a move. Ruby now. T. I cannot pronounce. I cannot pronounce. EBT. We need an EBT. Girl. Ruby T. Oh. We ain't got no EBT. We need a little EBT in our life right For now. For real? These food prices are outrageous. Need that in our life. What would you do with an EB if you had an EBT car right now, Ralph? I'll bring everybody shopping right now with food stamps. <laughs> right now. <laughs> would you try to pay for these beignets with them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't I'm, think they take that here. We go to Walmart. They take it there. <laughs> I'm like, hold up, y'all. Buckle up. We're going shopping, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm on bulk and I can confirm watching your videos. It helps gain weight. All right, now. <laughs> Bro, they went to France to get them beignets. They take it too long in there. Man, she ordered all these coffees, bro. She's in a BMW, bro. She's rich. I don't I'm know how people my, drink this coffee. Oh my god, it tastes like. I'm just trying to get my poor man's ugh. meal and go about my business, man. I'll be down. When she drops all five of them coffees on us, she's gonna be crying around now. That's some hot shit, too. Oh, yeah. I guarantee. Let's smoke some ribs and wings. Man, I'm gonna put on YouTube. Yeah, makeshift grill so that people can see that they you should not that, be doing that, none you, of that. That's how you got to do it sometimes. Do what you can, what you got. I'm gonna go put on another one. Sent my mom your video when you made the pineapple upside down cake. Why my mom said she's making that. Fans in Sacramento, California. She's gonna awesome. love it. All, All right. right. Now, I will say this, Ralph, correct me if I'm wrong. Because I know in there you use Big Shot, the cream flavored soda. But couldn't you use, like, because a lot, anybody just else use, ain't getting. Use get a whole it. cup of the pineapple juice if you ain't got Or it. could you just use another. Cream yes, soda? You, yeah, you can use cream soda or just a whole cup of pineapple. How you doing? Yeah, All right. Orders, right. Thank you. Yep, when I was a kid, my dad was between jobs and he signed us up for food stamps and they gave us 16 bucks for one adult and two kids. What wow. the mother? How, Becca? What the hell that's going to do? Bro, I, like I would have threw that at you. I know. I need, like, I need some food stamps in my life. I can help my channel grow and prosper, bro. Y'all be like, bro, why you cook all them steaks all of a sudden? I be like, don't worry about it, bro. Don't even worry about it, bro. I have, it, like, the premium cuts. Y'all be like, bro, bro, you bought that whole slack? Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> like, don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> they make electric smokers. That, I don't know. He might still burn that shit. Yeah, no, I'll show you how to I want to see that butter go from the kitchen table to the Magnolite wide angle. <laughs> Don't <laughs> get it there, bro. It might, might fall a few times, huh? David, on, sometimes when we do man. the video, Go. when we do the video, I'm trying to see what we could park and eat right quick without getting killed. I'm gonna say the danger, sorry. Anyways, he'll have RJ come and stand like on the side to help to try and like intercept the butter in case it don't go into the pot correctly, so it don't splat. <laughs> oh. Bro, we cannot park at a car lot? Oh, we're going to car shop. Let's act like we got money to No, they're going to think we're here stealing. I don't give a damn what these people think. We ain't stealing nothing, man. Come on. They're going to think we in the carjackings. I wish we were. Where you going? We got to get out and eat this. I'm about to destroy the new car. We did that old. I would live in another state immediately. Uh, Louisiana is a beautiful sure culture, but sure it's a trash state. Take it. Boy, if you put that on my seats, I swear to God, I will punch you. Let's shake them. Smack them. Normally, y'all know I get ignorant, bro, but I'm trying not to at least, at least don't disrespect the oh. car for a week or two. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God, Ralph. I cannot believe you're, this is the first. Oh, yeah. <gasps> you're making my nerves bad eating this in my car. All right, y'all. They're hot. Hot as a bitch. You kind of got this light right here glaring. Yeah, put your big head in the way. My dad was lit there with a lady doing... Wait, hold on. Lady darker. Oh, 
And they gave her 700 bucks. <laughs> Bro, looks like he's dealing drugs. I know he does look like that, huh? Oh, yeah, David. We're so, Ralph's so excited. He wanted to do that last year, but it just didn't work out with the hurricane to release the holiday cookbook. So he's so excited to have this one. We love when you throw the butter in the pot. I do that all the time now. All right. Just gotta, uh, Keep on throwing it till you can get further and further and further and further till you're almost out of the kitchen. You know how many times I've had butter laying on my walls and stuff? <laughs> he's like the Cajun Emerald when he slaps the butter. Oh, these are good. These are like so good. I love when he says butter. Another day. I had that, uh, that big old brick of butter. I slammed it down in the pot. Sarah put it up on Instagram. And when I did, it come out the pot, bro. Right, hits the counter, almost fell on the floor. <laughs> that thing slid all over. I didn't get the fullness of it of you trying to, like, um, hot potato hold it. I'll throw it in the living room. That would be money shot. <laughs> Man, these beignets are you see them? Gotta take that sugar right here. Oh, it said, don't leave none on your nose. The cops gonna think you did some blow. That's right. <laughs> Ralph Eugene, what is wrong with you? Oh, Lord. What, you got scared? <laughs> I ain't scared. Mm. You wouldn't happen to know an AC book, huh? Can you get me some of that? It made me jump. Drive by. <laughs> no, Ralph did not go to culinary school at all. He was just taught by his mama, his grandma. He really started being like really in the kitchen to um <laughs> Ralph's trying to be sneaky he's got that good <laughs> he really started uh by baking how old is Ralph he's 40. Hmm, remember when he spilled the powder all over him he looked like a drug lord <laughs> what's all up right. why Come wait on hold on uh -uh. don't you drive off with this sugar I open know that girl. I turn lights on in there you go Ooh, crawfish best. Did I made some of that already on the video? I was gonna say, didn't you? Do, I think you did corn and crawfish best. Corn and crab, huh? I don't corn think it was crawfish. crawfish. Mm-hmm. Look at all the smoke. Y'all y'all should not smoke. Smoking bad for your health, y'all. Y'all see my boat right there? It's getting work done right now. Bro, that is not your boat. You ain't even allowed to have a boat. Oh. You give me a boat, bro. One day. Ralph is secretly 20. Don't tell nobody. He thinks he's 20. He acts like he's 20. I'm old, man. I'm old, man. I'm old now. Boy, I tell you what. The older you get, the older, the faster it goes. I tell you that right now. That's true, huh? Where are you in beignets? Man. Yeah, Ralph ain't allowed to have no boat. Shit, that's my boat right there. Nope. Mm -mm. He sunk three. He's wanted by the wildlife and fishery. And you can't even tell people I'm wanted, bro. Not really wanted. I mean, okay, they man. might they might not like you when they see you. They might lock me up, bro. I don't know. He owes some outstanding fines and fees from not having a fishing license years I ago. You, I get the money, I'm going to pay that. Huh? We're going to relax on that. <laughs> he ain't smoking. He's making the air thicker. <laughs> Sunk three boats. He sunk three boats. I yes. got some money now. Now I'm gonna go ahead on and uh, I'm gonna pay him down. Mm, they're not really like donuts. They're kind of airy and fluffy, y'all. They're more like if you fried a donut. Well, isn't that how you make donuts or do you bake them? Fry them, fool. Oh, it's just different. It's a different consistency. It's kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of like. 
a mixture between maybe like a puff pastry and a donut if they had like a baby. <laughs> what does Ralph do for work? Online social media influence. Yeah, he's got online the platforms, the website keeps him really busy. That's pretty much that now. Yeah. YouTube keeps inviting me to the uh, clubhouse, bro, but they want me to go to California. How the hell am I supposed to get there? <laughs> On my looks, bro. <laughs> They be like, hey, Ralph, you want to come down? You want to go to the clubhouse here? and have a hundred YouTubers. Y'all can collaborate. I'm like, man, that sounds like a good idea. Let me go see. Then, damn, California and Hollywood. How the hell am I going to get there? Oh, boy, I tell you. Oh, they just made me choke. They said Ralph with a few baddies and an alligator with a boat. Great content. That, they uh, made me choke on my beignet. Yeah, that we talking. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's right? what I'm talking about. Y'all so aggravating and encouraging his ass because he will really pull up in a boat with three hoes and an alligator get his ass bit. The the uh, boat's going to sink and the hoes are going to sue him. Oh, <laughs> Life on the bayou. <laughs> Take it to Cali. He ain't making it over the canal. Man, they, YouTube just acts like, bro, like, like they don't even give you no notice. They be like, all right, bro. You invited to the YouTube clubhouse Here, put this next in there, week. Baby. Next week, you invited to the clubhouse. Would you like to join? And then you go look and shit. You like you get excited, and then all of a sudden, you see it's in California. And you're like, bro, bro, who just got that kind of money, bro? <laughs> Maybe somebody else got that kind of money. You just be like, you know what? I'm going to Cal, bro. I'll be back later on, bro. <laughs> like, bro, y'all know what y'all pay me, bro. Y'all know I get down well. I can't go to California, bro. <laughs> Why y'all playing? You two playing like that. Right. Damn why well they know that, bro. Look at that big old boat right there, y'all. I can do something on that now. Yeah, you're going to have it at the bottom of Lake Pontchartrain. Look at that, y'all. That's or the nice bottom right of the there, Gulf boy. of Mexico. Oh, you know what? I think it's even got an underneath on that thing, bro. What's an underneath? Well, you can go in Like there, a room? Yes, indeed, boy. Dang, what? what you need that for? That's going to take That's in the water the first. Go, baby. That's, oh, oh, really? Yes, oh, is that where they go? That's where they go, baby. Oh, what you know about that? Yeah. What? None of them checking all my messages, man. You I mean, can't I be. That bar was still open, love. And that bar was still open. <laughs> Twist the line. I didn't even think they were still in business. I'll tell you that right now. Look at it. Oh, boy. What, you was there with your baddie one time? <laughs> Man, I, I don't know nothing about no baddies. Except Sarah, bro. Well, know. you knew where they went on the boat. I'm just saying, if I had a boat, bro, that probably would I be done. <laughs> oh, really? That's why you definitely ain't getting no freaking boat, <laughs> asshole. I'm saying I'd probably give it a try just to see one time. You know <laughs> Love this man right here. <laughs> just see what happens, bro, one time. Go and get a food truck and make it around the states, Ralph. I would, bro. But where am I gonna get the kind of money to buy a food truck? But that's that forty thousand dollars, man. I know. Truck. Rob's looked at it a few times. I keep just... looking, but it's like I'm window shopping, bro. I ain't got forty thousand right now, bro. I just ain't got it. I know. We got a lot of kids, y'all. Bro, I ain't got it. If I had it, you don't think I'd have a food truck right now? Oh, Need boy, you a beignet truck. Beignets oh. and baddies. That that's a fucking business there, bro. <gasps> dust it down. <laughs> Like a little bit of the, like the powder go. shooter, like $10 like sprinkled. Like Bro, you cannot. That's like gotta be some kind of like <laughs> sexual <laughs> something that that's is what illegal. You get baddies in your business. Show them, show them who does, bro. Oh, that, that's what happens right there. Look, came for another cop in the joint, bro. Look, hooked all up off in the grass, but I see some. Hooters. So you want to like do a Hooters type situation, but that's like on a dessert level? That's powder funny. sugar ba baddies. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. You. Only problem is we ain't got money for the truck, bro. You ain't traveling with these hoes. Yeah, we be traveling. The no. fuck you are. We only get a one week job. I gotta renew them every week. <laughs> Why? I gotta renew them. Oh, the white stripper boots. <laughs> That's right. Got to add new ones, bro. Oh my god. I had the same one rolling up with you every time, bro. No, I will pay for that. <laughs> I it, bro. But I live in LA now, Lower Arkansas. Oh, 
Right now. Oh my God, that is so funny. I'm telling y'all, y'all think I'm. That fine. probably would be a genius idea, huh? Yeah, but you gotta buy a food truck, bro. Damn. Oh, you could do it like on a party bus. Man, what, what, man, you ain't gonna let cheaper? me get no party bus, bro. No, I ain't. Shut the hell up. You talk all that on, on this goddamn thing, bro. Bikini boots and beignets. Man, I have a party bus, bro. That's a good idea. I could buy it now. I could buy one of those. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna can't cook on that bitch, bro. And nobody gonna wanna book me, bro. It'd be just my damn luck, bro. <laughs> Go bankrupt all that one time, bro. Bankrupt with your baddies. <laughs> Bankrupt baddies, baby. Y'all know they hoes going. They going first, bro. I'm gonna tell you that right now. My girl's going first, bro. Oh my god. They going first. I cannot bro. deal with you. They already gone, bro. As soon as they ain't making no money, they out of there, bro. And I can't pay more than five dollars an hour right now. <laughs> Wait, that's below minimum wage. I mean, that's, that's how hard times are right now. Oh my god. They gonna be suing you and everything. No, I don't give a damn. They ain't gonna get nothing. They gonna be disappointed too. <laughs> they gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But that would really be a good business. What? Which one? On the food truck. Bro, we ain't. We can't buy. Where the fuck? With we, the beignets and the bikinis. Yeah. You two are coming up with some good business names. <laughs> Is you like the that. Roman candy carriage except with baddies. That's right. I, I can respect that. Now, when I say a food truck, you know what I'm saying? Like 30000 <laughs> on low end, but you go a quarter million dollars. You go 300000 400000 You can get up there on a food truck, bro. What? Oh, yeah. You ain't rolling in a brand new food truck from the thirty or 40000 That you was from the 80s or something, bro. Oh, stop. You are such, you so dramatic. I swear to God, I ain't lying on that. I ain't exaggerating. I'm telling you right Give now. Give me the lighter. I'll tell you that right now. That's you got cute. it hot in this motherfucker. That's just you, girl. Sexy thing. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. That's what you're going to tell your baddies when they buy the fryer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they they, they, they got to be buying a powder work, bro. You know, they powder in that bitch up, bro. Wait. Powder each other. <gasps> right. And, and, and the more the dude wants to see more powder, bro, the more money it is, bro. <laughs> I can't breathe. Powder, I can't bro. breathe. You want that heavy powder, cold, bro? That powder dollars right there. <laughs> Wait, they got to powder each other. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> hey, brother, how many times you got powder tonight? 40? How much you made? 600? Everybody be happy. Even <laughs> <laughs> the sugar company be happy. We be buying some more damn sugar, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Instead of like mud wrestling events, you can do like a sugar wrestling event. Powder event, bro. Check it out, bro. Oh my god. That's right. That is too funny. Tell you all that, right? Here in Texas, we call food trucks roach coaches. Oh, Jesus. I must have some regular food trucks. Bro. For real. Jesus. What kind of food trucks y'all got? Baby pool, pool full of powdered sugar. That's right, bro. Wait, turn that down. You got that. I'll host that at my house, bro. You a bounce the beignets? <laughs> boy, that's a good one there, boy. <laughs> oh, God. I can see Ralph's going to be on, like, all of that. He'll have a divorce court. It'll kind of go down like Blow, I would imagine. Like the movie Blow. <laughs> I feel like that would all lead you to that end of the road. Be a hell of a ride, bro. It will be a hell of a ride. Oh, Jesus, Corey. Got in rest in peace. You go live the night the Queen of England passes away. How many rare things can happen in one day? Oh, man. That's true. <laughs> Had to bring some, some happiness to the world, bro. Hey, let me tell y'all something, all right? <coughs> and, and look, may our family be at peace right now and all that, okay? But I'm going to tell y'all something. Real bullshit aside. If I live to be 96 and never get rich, bro, it's a fucking hell of a life, bro. All right? That's a hell of a life, bro. You can't complain on 96 and rich your whole life, bro. Come on. Come on, man. And you know what I'm saying? You, you, you good. You got your health, bro. For the most part, you got your health, bro. You, you, you ain't struggling. You ain't stressing. You ain't 96. You check out, bro. What else you want, bro? That's a hell of a age right there, man. Yeah, I mean, that is a long hell of an age. You can't be sad on that, bro. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful life right there. 
1926 to 2022. So I hope to God I can live like that, bro. Tell hey, you that right now. It's a good point. What's up, Street Boy? David, where the hell you been? Underneath the rock? Hi, right, bro. He hit the power bombs. Oh, Betty Way, too, man. Oh, Betty, man. That was so sad. Well, you live yeah, old like that, y'all. You done live, lived your life, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's sad. And of course, family's going to be sad. I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? But. But you get to be in your 90s, bro. That a hell of a life right there, y'all. Can't complain on that, man. Well, let me quit talking like that because my mama's in my 90s. I was just thinking that. You know what, y'all? A hundred's good. A hundred's good. My mama's in my 90s, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it don't hurt for the family. But you know what I'm saying? You got your good health around all that day. By the time you get 96 and all that. I, got, I always feel like as long as you had a good quality of life and... Your health was decent for all that, then yeah. yeah you look like you're surely getting close to these Orleans Parish lines around here. I'm you getting driver. mighty close, Ralph. I'm a driver now. You just sit back and relax. Uh uh. Sit back and relax. I got this here. I don't trust you. What's up, Ohio? Waveland, Mississippi was my home. Oh, Waveland, man. I don't know about Waveland. I've been there a time or two. The queen lived through it all. I'm blowing my water. This pasta going going to be fire. All yeah, right. Give me some of that pasta water. I grew up in the Bay Area inside Dell. I'm just catching up. Let me make it through 50s. Man, I'm saying, right now, bro, you know, let's just look. I'm gonna tell y'all something. As long as you got your health, bro, you got everything else. Everything else can be made, bro. You gotta have your health. You got your health, bro, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna go through hard times, you're gonna go through good times, you're gonna go through all that. If you got your health, bro, you got it all right there in your hands. That's true. They got a lot of rich people right now. Rich as hell. Sick as hell, bro. Can't do nothing with it. Yeah, it ain't worth a damn, bro. That's true. Yeah, that right now, you got your health, man. You just, you just be blessed on that right now. Don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Everything else fall in place eventually. They talking about it, she died young, bro. <laughs> like, bro, 96, what the hell they talking about? That woman lived the full life. What the hell I'm doing? Running a light? Oh, Jesus, you ran a whole red light? I don't know. Possible. What's up, Jersey? I love you both. Is young. Oh, that's what they said. I guess. That's what Corey said. Corey, bro, where you from? Where were they living to be? Two hundos around us? No, he's hundos? saying that's what people are saying online. And he's like, what? Right. Like, where the hell they, where they from, bro? Most I'm 16. Any words of wisdom, Ralph the G? At the age of 16, yeah. I got some real words. I tell my kids this all the time. <laughs> Slow down. Relax. Don't try and grow up too soon, bro. Life is... It's got its enough of its stress, bro, when you get old enough. So so just slow down, relax, enjoy being a kid. Don't take on no more stress than you have to. Don't take on no more than you got to. No more responsibility and stress than you have to. And uh, let it fall in place. You know, the problem is these kids these days, they rush out and they want to go get an apartment. They want to do this. They want to do that. And they really don't realize that before you know it, life already slaps you in the face with a lot of responsibility. So slow down and you just enjoy being young. That's all. That's all you can do stay out of trouble how about words of wisdom for someone who is 26 words of what shit 26 man you know i think at the age of 26 we still you especially i don't know if it's a guy or a girl but i know guys for sure when we 26 that's we still kind of partying hard and, and I, I tell you what in my late 20s i wish i'd have slowed down and uh me personally i wish i'd have slowed down in my late 20s because Man, it went by fast, and before I knew it, I was in my 30s just that quick, you know? And I, I could have done a lot with them years. I would have messed up running the streets, going to bars, partying, real, like... Because in the end, you know what I'm saying? If you're in your 20s, you spend your late 20s and all your 20s, maybe, drinking and partying, having a good time. It's all fun, but then, all of a sudden, 30s, then, it's time to get it in, bro. And, and it messed up them five, six, seven, eight, ten years, bro. So I, I think I just wish I'd have slowed down in my late 20s. And started, you know what I'm saying, building shit up and getting serious and taking life real serious. So you feel like at 16, enjoy it. And at yeah. 26, start grinding. About, about, about 24, about 23, start getting it in. Because, uh, you know, you got to get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to have it. You want nice things, bro. You got you got you. You gotta quit partying so much and, and, and start getting it. And I, you ain't you know partying can look different. To some people, partying looks like drinking and going out. To some people, bro, partying looks like playing on the 
them PlayStation games they got, it all depends. And then some people, bro, they want to pimp them things, bro, and then run with them. But, uh... So that Peter turns green. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> That's what I keep telling my kids. It's pervert, man. <laughs> it's true. Man, this, this deep. What you think all these people getting in them right now? What they doing? In a car. No. <laughs> what you think they come to the lake for, bro? <laughs> that goes back. Wait, you telling me all this? Oh, they look like they was about to get it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show them all your cars. Where you people So in? you saying all these people, they in a, oh, what's this? Been? Oh, oh, sir, I don't know what you just was doing in your car. Uh, we done caught a pervert. <laughs> Stop, bro. We done caught a clean pervert. <laughs> Let's pull up there next to these perverts. <laughs> Y'all want to go see what they're catching on that fishing field? Let me know. <laughs> I'm going to call on this school to be speaking in Texas. I'm from Lake Charles, but these people here don't know how to party. I can't wait to come back down. <laughs> Sarah's green. <laughs> Sarah, man, she done got flip around saying eight ten eight cars, bro. Ain't nobody's here. Don't let a lot of y'all. The only know. thing open after midnight is Waffle House and Legs. <laughs> That's where your Peter Every turns so green. They said I disagree with the green Peter part. So you mess around and mess with one of them dirt, dirty baddies. Come home crying, mom or daddy, yeah, take me to the doctors. That's it. How much would you charge for? Oh my god. Y'all wanna go see if they're catching fish out there or no? 30 feet of fish. Man, we've been dealing with these kids. These kids being home through the summer. It was rough this summer with these kids. They just had so much going on. We got two, we got one adult, Change two teenage kids, and twin eight-year-olds. So it is it was insane this summer. Insane. <laughs> As a girl from north, in the, from the north in Louisiana, boys are different. That's all I'm talking about on the subject. Okay, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I agree with that. My dad's dad always told him to enjoy being a kid because it only happens once. I do as much as possible. That beaters me like working out taking care of people and figuring like that's right that's right that's good you're yeah. gonna be an adult bro they want to see the damn fish or not bro okay no i'm saying they want to see the damn fish they might not got no fish they might. i don't know if they got no fish and i ain't trying to get no stds my advice to my people may just stay protected that's right that is a full-time uh, glad that to see you guys back on YouTube. Miss y'all. We miss y'all too. Nah, we appreciate it. We're gonna be back on soon. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna start doing some lives again and all with that, yeah. I know, yeah, we are. We're getting back on it, y'all. He wants Grind to get time, baby. Yeah, he wants to start doing more lives. At least like once a week, maybe twice a week. Man, y'all be getting ignorant now. See now you're getting all crazy and all What's that. up, Ginger? <clears throat> Green Peter, I'll never be the same. Oh, I bought my first house at 30. That's awesome. That's good. Oh, is that Miss Trish? Miss Trish and house. Yeah, it is good. That's what I'm saying. You want to get yourself set up. A lot of us, me and Ralph did. We messed up. We messed up big time in our 20s. We didn't know no better, though. We messed up our credit, our money, everything in our 20s. And it took our 30s to rebuild it. That's the part about being 20 you don't want to do. Because <laughs> you don't know, you know, if you're not taught properly. I'm trying to see if they're catching any fish, bro. I ain't seeing them real. Look, we got the pier right there where people are fishing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Got quite some fishers out there tonight. That's what the 20s are for. <laughs> yeah. See. I'm yeah. surprised. I mean, we've been having all this rain. Does that help? Never catch no damn fish when I go fishing. Gotta right. stock up on the Jose and Tito's for the lives. That's right. <clears throat> Man, I ain't had no Tito's. David, you know I got I ain't had no Tito's since that night on on that live when I when the, Ralph has never let me drink Tito's again. <laughs> Remember how ignorant she got, y'all? Oh, oh you meant north oh you're from Minnesota. Louisiana boys, they a different breed. Yes, they are. I mean, I don't know. I've only known Louisiana boys. Man, you probably been with somebody from every goddamn state in there lying on my YouTube channel, man. If I'd have been from somebody from a different state, I would have done left of Louisiana a long time ago. I promise you. Let 
I'm gonna tell you something. You ain't got no damn handcuffs to Louisiana. Get your ass off the road. I don't want to leave you, baby. I love you. I love you, Big Papa. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just broke up with Tito's two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to break up with Tequila. Tequila, bro. All right. Me and Tequila going to break up, bro. I might start drinking me some claws, bro. Your dad said you in the hood. <laughs> that is Bonneville. This is Bonneville Boat Launch, Mr. Ralph. They listen to the Elvis Presley, bro. I ain't no hood, man. Ralph's about to park and dim the lights. <laughs> that right. Well, you could. You can't see on the outside this sucker, bro. Oh, hell no. That ain't why you brought me to no lake. Oh, yeah. No. You ain't going to about to have me on no damn 5 o'clock news with the uh, JPSO tapping on the window with the flashlights. They couldn't see in here if they did. Shine the light bright enough, they might. Let me see. They're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me do the test. They're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Hold on, y'all. Let me do the test see if I can really see through the window. Y'all killing me drinking the cloth. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, Lord, it is dark. Oh, shit. Can you can you see me, sir? Oh, see? You can see straight <laughs> Like a peeping Tom. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes, you can. Quit Wait, lying. Take my phone. Show them. Take, take my phone. Show them. Go see. No, I ain't doing all of that. They got Just mosquitoes. No, not on the outside. Oh, huh? Is someone in the car? <laughs> you, you can't. You cannot see in here. At all. Let me turn my damn lights back. You can't see in here. Hmm. Not even with the light. Oh, yeah. It's in paradise by the dashboard lights. <laughs> I'm making my pasta right now. I'll be listening. Ralph the Peeper. <laughs> All right. We're going to check everybody's window. If you're window. from Louisiana, you had a cop pull up on you like that. Uh, that's right. <clears throat> Wait, let me ask Ralph. Maybe, did you used to go, before you met me, because I know you was young when you met me. We was teenagers. You don't get your fucking feet off this car like that. I'm... What you going to do? Not a damn thing? Really? This is $50,000, not 15 I'm sorry, baby. I don't even do that. Oh, boy, boy. Okay. So, when you was in your younger years, before me. Yeah, before you, okay. Did you used to go down to the point? Oh, absolutely. Just like you And did. what you did? Same thing you uh -uh, did. I was a good... They said, don't answer, Ralph. Right. <laughs> I was a you. good girl. I was good. I did not go to no damn point. Unless I was going fishing. I swear to God, if y'all believe that, y'all stupider than me, bro. <laughs> y'all don't believe that dumb shit y'all saw, bro. <laughs> it looks like an amazing night for vision. Steven Seagal, no. have you ran into him around there? Nah. Look at this water. Here, what the hell are you doing? You gonna drive the car? <gasps> Ralph, you cheating? You back up my car now? Do not put me in this fucking lake. I swear to God. Ralph, stop. Stop. Say goodbye. Back. I I'm alive. I what have that, ducks? 74 witnesses to this. Ralph, what the this reminds me of that show. Uh, what's that sh that thing I watch on YouTube? Uh, <laughs> they said, go for it. What the hell? When they find people in the water. <gasps> what show? <clears throat> it's, a, it's a YouTube channel. I watched it quite a few times. They go help people find people. In oh, the and they put the uh, cars out the like waters and they stuff. The hell away from this water. Someone asked me to describe my parents when they were younger. I would just show them, show my video of you. <laughs> That's right. Believe me, we were wild, man. We had our time. Oh, look, they got, you got all these people looking at us like we crazy. Man, we all look crazy. Turn off them headlights, you scaring the gators. That's right. <laughs> it is pretty outside. Like, it's pretty. Fun. Oh, look at that car. Oh, you got the car right there. Look at right there. Right there. No. What Shit. The I ain't got no license plate, bro. Son of a bitch, man. Messing with you, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, officer. Look, you said he can't see. Oh, I'm going to turn this way. Oh, bro, why you going to put out my window? Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, I swear to God. He's complaining about the feet. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Ralph, get on the right side of the road before we get pulled over. They're going to think we drinking and driving. Damn. Take off the, the bobo, please the fifth. Uh, illegal tent. <laughs> wrong side of the road. No brake tag. 
We just bought the car like a week ago. They ain't want to hear none of that. They're going to slam me on the ground. Call down wildlife. <laughs> Why are they going to call it it's the NCIC check? <laughs> oh, bro, I didn't say that, bro. That's what the guy don't say that, bro. <sighs> Where them rich people at? Let me see how this rich people are. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that pretty house, huh? Watch these cars and all that. Let me show y'all. We are so ADD. The way we Check change this, subjects. Check this out. This is when you know you made some money in your life. Check this out. It is a pretty house. No, look at the cars. Jason gonna light y'all up. That's all my cars right really there. Pretty. I just told nigga just park it right down. I really have my cars right down. <laughs> y'all the type of relationship I want when I'm older. You Having fun. It. That's it, man. But they're gonna come out and shoot the phone right out of Sarah's hand. Record my house, huh? <laughs> this is better than cops. <laughs> that is a pretty house. Man, oh, what the, the hell? What is up there? Ralph on the balcony. What's that man? Oh, that's just a creepy old man. What's it supposed to be a statue of? What's he holding? <laughs> it's a pervert. <laughs> JPSO is on the way. <laughs> no. Man, you know you got some money, bro. You got about 12 of them old cars in your driveway, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Take it out here, bro. You either got all the money or none, bro. Boom, 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 boy. I can show y'all the only billionaire, the only billion, one of the only billionaires I know how y'all down there lives right down the road right here. Billionaire. He's in his 30s, bro. He got into the old game. Sold his old platform, bro. Made billions. Not millions, billions. Oh, boy, boy. His house ain't nowhere near as nice as that. Y'all just got billions. That's what he's supposed to do it. Oh yeah, they from Louisiana. We know what they did for a living. Get all that ain't none of us innocent. Yep. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Bum, oh my bum, gosh. Bum, bum, bum. So quiet all of a sudden. I know. It's eerie. Everybody getting sleepy, bro? I am. What time is it? 8.40, man. Oh, cell phone nut sent you over 20, Ralph. A sticker or whatever. I asked my girl, cell phone night. I asked my girl, going to cook me up some fish. And she said, you know, I don't like fish. I said, I'll pay the bill. <laughs> and she says, I still don't like fish. I said, what am I going to do? This is 1999. I guess I'll send it over to Ralph the Baker's fam. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I have to tell him he can, uh, he'll have to cook up some fish next video. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm just playing. That's a good fried catfish, man. Oh, I'll tell you that right now, you can't go wrong with that. Man, you can't go wrong. My brother works in New Orleans. Drag that dude at the next light. Open that bad boy up. No. Gas is too damn hell expensive. I know, I got 115 miles of gas right now. I go doing that, bro. I'm going to drop down to my 80, 80 miles left. No, hell, David, that's where all the, oh, you know that's where all the, um, carjackings and burglaries are going down is in Breeze's neighborhood. Man. <clears throat> How far are we from Pasagula? 98 miles, right? Oh, I forgot about that with the other, uh, Alex, the other father. 98 miles away from Pasagula, right been that time or two. Yeah, with your ex-girlfriend, huh? Been down to Pasagula? Mm-hmm. Been there before. Mm-hmm. What's up, Alley Cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know how many views you get if you got pulled over? <laughs> we ain't trying to get pulled well, over. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret shit like that. Every time I get pulled <clears> over, <throat> I shit you not, I'm going to jail, bro. It's guaranteed, bro. Every time I have a problem with the cops, I go to jail, okay? So but why would you go over? to jail? There ain't no reason. You have not literally I, not committed a crime in a very long to, time. Bro. Just be something, bro. I go to jail every time. <laughs> be so, like somebody used your identity. <laughs> something. I go to jail every time. And I don't want to go to jail no more, man. <laughs> they said, oh, no, I ain't wishing no bad juju on you. I was just saying. <laughs> I believe it, though, bro. Them lights get behind us, bro. But I, we gonna... did get pulled over on live one time, remember? Hey, on TikTok. Hey, them lights come on. Y'all going to see what this young bitch can do because I ain't stopping, bro. The hell you are stopping? We are not going on no pursuit from the police. I'd be like, everybody go donate, bro. We're going to need bond money in about 20 minutes here. You're going to have to let me out on the corner or something so I, I can run home. I'm going to let you out now. We could do some jailhouse cooking videos. I'm going to have to smuggle you in a video. I mean, oh, a uh, phone yeah. or something to record it. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this billionaire's house. Y'all ain't going to think this dude's no billionaire, but I'm going to show y'all. 
Let me show y'all, man. It ain't easy being Ralph. <laughs> ain't easy at all, man. All the looks easy. You're going to have to have all the super chats. <laughs> I'm going to need all kind of super chats, bro. I got to go on the high speed The super chase, duper bro. chats for that. I think that's the billion ass kids outside, bro. Nah, what? Let me see what house is. No, what house? Isn't it like a corner house with like the nah, panels nah, and the nah, court, nah. tennis court? Right with kids outside. Oh, I don't want to record them. Be like, oh, why did you come here? Talk a roll, ain't no stop, and get out. That's what I'm right saying. Now. Oh, that's oh, right 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 Okay. Bad boys. <laughs> We're all gonna do Nobody's no kidnap. Just the billionaire. No like, hell no. I didn't want to show the cat. I flashed it up real quick. That's the tennis court. That's the billionaire son right there. We should have snagged him up. <gasps> Ruff, you, what is wrong with you tonight? You trying to drive us in the lake? I'm fine. Don't say that. Don't say that on YouTube. <laughs> you said it. You're looking at us crazy anyway, bro. Make me out smack him down. How can you turn and see through these windows? You can't even see if they got a car right there. I can see just fine. I anyway, can't. I got to go down the window. I wanted to show y'all the billionaire's house. It's because you would never believe it, bro. Don't get me I don't wrong, know if they nice could house. really see it. <laughs> yeah, I know they couldn't see it because of you, but I'm saying it's a nice house, but it ain't like, oh, wow, nothing like that. Ain't nowhere near like that house we just looked at over there. Nah, bro, got, I've got some evil plan. <laughs> and he's got the sewage plant behind his house, bro. <laughs> Throw him a beignet. Hit him in the head with a beignet, bro, little rich kid, bro. He, he don't know about that life. Smack them down. Have we yeah. been to all the been zoo? Yeah. Been, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of times. It's nice. Been zoo is what we do. It's nice, but I ain't gonna lie. From back in the day when we used to be kids, it just seems so amazing now. Well, now all the animals is getting old. They're about ready to croak over. Yeah, they always sleeping and they ain't never doing nothing. They don't yeah, even I get mean, up and go get their food. Monkeys don't want to do nothing, <clears throat> bro. The gorillas. I love gorillas and monkeys, bro. They don't want to do nothing, bro. No, they just laid out. They don't want to do nothing, bro. I don't blame them. I'd be mad if they captured me, too. I like them, though, bro. I've been trying to tell Sarah, I really want to get, like, find a way to buy, like, a, a baby gorilla and take them home, bro. You can't take home a gorilla. You can put them in there how you want your No, home, you cannot. You can. You won't survive, baby. It'll kill you. Man, them things are smart, man. They know you, It's a great man. Buddha heist. No, they know you. You know what I'm saying? They they, they know you. Do you know Paul Lucas? No. Lucas, that's you can buy monkeys. You just got to know the right folks. The Cajun gorilla. Yeah, I want a gorilla though, bro. I mean, I'll take a monkey. Don't get me wrong, but i really take a gorilla, bro. <laughs> About to go on Ralph's pot. Oh, no, man. <laughs> that's terrible. No, the gorilla will kill you. They're aggressive. Sorry, they know who you are. They a baby and you take care of them? Thank you, Tim. Baby gorillas grow up to be big gorillas, Ralph. I know, but if you're nice to them and they're a baby gorilla, bro, and give them, you know, a bunch of bananas and stuff, they're going to love you by the time they get big, bro. No, baby, that is not how it works. They are not domesticated animals. Y'all ain't never seen that, bro, where, like, the, that old white lady go and let's go <laughs> on the, the gorilla back into the woods and the monkeys, and they go off in the woods for a second, and they come back in, they give this hug and all that, bro, and they go off on their journey, bro. Cause they loved her for for, for taking care. Of her. Yeah, but I they ain't living in our house. Come back, beat me. <laughs> yeah, walking a silver back. bags, got you in a headlock, choking you, suffocating Smack you. Smack me down, bro. Didn't go off in a while, bro. <laughs> so what are you? What are you talking? About? Bro, y'all ain't never seen them, bro. Yeah, y'all seen them, bro. The video, <clears> bro, <throat> where they where they released the monkeys and gorillas. Y'all ain't never seen them. See, Tim's on the set. He said, "Did you ever see the lady who the chimpanzees ate our face?" <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, man. That's terrible. <laughs> that's Coco terrible. the Gorilla, the new sign language. That's terrible. But that's true. Ralph, you ain't getting no more damn animals. We, no more kids. No nothing, man. I'm tired. Oh, man. I ain't doing none of that shit. What's happening? Am I in the wrong? Oh, God. Oh, it's a big old tanker. Ralph, I don't out? know. It's a stop here on red. I don't know. <laughs> we got the parking. Going to South Snowball. You're driving out two lanes. No, we're fine, man. Let's see the styles open, bro. Oh, I saw that. It was terrible. What? You was talking about, remember that the video? Snowball's staying open? No, they're not. They're closed. And the no. damn window's open. I ain't getting one, but I'm saying they're open. Is that what you're talking about? Um, I was saying they were talking about that video of the friend that 
the, her called her friend because the monkey was attacking her and it came in. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all think she might have did something wrong and violated that monkey, bro. I don't know about that life. Y'all seen the videos? I know somebody seen them. They bring the damn cage to the jungle. They open it up. <coughs> and the monkey gets out or gorilla gets out of the damn cage. And then it gets on top of the cage and about to go off into the one. Then it gives the lady a hug and it comes back burning the leaves. I ain't never seen this. I don't know. I'm going to show you when you get out this damn line. Watch. You got to teach the gorilla to toss the butter in the pot. They do all that, bro. I had that gorilla eating butter, bro. <laughs> no, bro. When Ralph goes, they give him a danger sign to warn an animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey man, I love you guys. It's first time seeing you live. I keep cooking, uh, keep cooking, brother. I'm from the south, All and every right, time man. I see your videos, it reminds me of home. God bless awesome. and good health to you and your family. Thank you, we appreciate you. That was Cody. No appreciate baddies, Cody. I guess. Sad day for Ralph. Man, when I get that food truck, bro, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens, bro. The baddies food truck, bro. I'll cook it, they serve it, baby. Baddies, beignet. No, baddies, not beignets. beignets. We're gonna be baddies food, bro, and beignets. If you wanna dust them, that's fifty dollars. Dust them? You dust the baddies? Or dust your beignets? Dust the baddies. <laughs> Wait, stop this. Dust the baddies, bring them damn beignets. Well, you are beignets. terrible. That's the way it is, man. That'd be good business right there. They come out the food truck, dust them down. Oh, my. Baby, I need a coke like a cold crispy icy cold coke i need a million dollars it ain't happening tonight you got some of that brad said you're a bad boy with the pots and the pans i'm a cajun chef myself all right no i appreciate it you ain't got no, no coke they said, yeah uh i don't know if the kids don't drink a bottle of my coke all right, we'll coca-cola coca-cola <laughs> be clear for you too oh man Tell y'all boys. This Gennaro's, bro. I tell you, I, I ain't got no beef with Gennaro's, bro. But every time I go down on that this bar right here and I drink, bro, I swear to God, bro, the next day I don't feel too good, bro. So I, aren't they the oldest bar at Metairie? Yeah, bro, but I, I don't know, bro. So they're supposed to be the oldest bar at Metairie, and then they have Bears Po Boys next door. Bears sucks, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. Bears suck swamp. Sucks, bro. Okay, bear sucks. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, it's not like when we had our uh, the other day we went. Yeah, we just grabbed it because it's close. It was yeah, I said, Well, let's give it another shot right here because I did a review on that's Sarah's cousin's joint right now. Oh, yeah, chaps. Oh, I can't see through the tent. Chaps chicken, go get you some. Now they got some good chicken, though. You were playing on them for a minute. Nah, I was playing with them, man. They said people don't play with you, they don't like you. Um. But bears, man, eighty dollars on four or five pool boys, bro. And uh, man, they really sucked, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I tell you the truth. <laughs> they said that they roofie you in, bro. Yeah, they do something wrong with this never was, bro. I don't know, bro. Cause y'all know one thing about me, I can drink. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, bro. You go there, bro. You be waking up in the next morning. You don't feel too good, bro. Your heart be beating fast and shit, bro. I don't know, bro. What they doing now? You sound like RJ with all them bros. Yeah, you tell me how you feel when you drink over there. Like crap. And I drink a white claw and crack that bitch open myself. Nah, bro. It's the mixed drinks, man. Yeah, the, like if I have Malibu, it don't taste right. It don't taste right. I don't know what they're doing. I don't understand it. Like, mm -hmm. this, it's cheap enough. Y'all charging enough money. I don't know what y'all doing, bro. <clears throat> he does have a video. I'm trying to see who asked. He does have a video up. He put up recently, I think, of collard greens. But... Yeah, I just did one. But if it wasn't, I don't know. I know you put it on Instagram. I don't know if you put it again on on YouTube, though. So if it's not, if they don't have a recent video, he definitely still does have one on here. You might just have just to go. Just put it Ralph the Baker, uh, uh, whatever it is you want to say. Collard greens, it'll come up. Mm -hmm. come right I think up. you put a ham hock in it or something. I thought I was, did I put a, I thought I put some turkey necks in it. Or maybe you put turkey next. I don't remember. One way or another. It was good, though. More YouTube screw-ins, though. <laughs> I know. He does have to. He's going to start putting up some more long videos, too, instead of just the shorts. I want to start doing that podcast, bro. For real. What y'all <clears> think, bro? Anything I should do this podcast or what, y'all? It'd it, it be, it be fun. I think. I think it would be, too. 
What y'all think? Let's talk about this. I guess it would depend on the person's. I mean, you would probably have a different should we audience. Be here in with the podcast, you know what I'm saying? He said, "Hell yeah!" I think it'd be fun for Man real. Man said, "100 percent." I think it would be great because I mean, people. I think you're entertaining. You are a good storyteller. I you're funny. Some real stories, bro. People love your accent. And I think you have, um, do it. Wow. Yes. All right. Sending love from the UK. Appreciate it. Made me feel UK. so hungry all the time. You I should. I the new Justin fun. Wilson. I think it would be, it's something that you've talked about for a long time. I just, I, I think it'd be real nice. You know what I'm saying? Be something good, bro. Yeah. And I think it'd be a really fun thing. Cause you love to like talk and hate and like story tell a lot and laugh and joke. And it's kind of hard to incorporate that with the cooking videos. Yeah, it is. You know? So bro, I think I that'd be a good way to ex- and get them done. I yeah. can't be bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have people gotta know, bam, 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 done. Yeah. Quick and easy. Yeah. That's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey baby, you want this and then I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I gotta lock the door because I don't need nobody to steal you. They steal me, they gonna bring me back, baby. I'm gonna get on their nerves. Dang, you can't lock the car. You can't lock it down. Dude, you thought took the keys too? Bro, he really locked me in here. Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know how to flip this thing around. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I guess y'all have to look at my ass until he gets back. Um... How do I do that without putting my finger in it? I'd be definitely hitting it. What's your accent is so cool. Very good to listen to. I want to come watch the podcast. Don't stop the cooking. No, he's going to always do that. Hey. <laughs> Don't pay to take her back. Um. So, yeah. So, the cooking, cooking is always going to be Ralph's thing. It's always going to be Ralph's heart. It's always going to be his love. Because even when he isn't doing it for videos, he's doing it all the time. <laughs> he just made your pasta as good as fuck. Good. And um, so that's never going to stop. But it's a good way to kind of like extend it. Hi. Um, extend his personality and get a little bit more from him. And like maybe you like bring other people in. And I find it's a good way for him. He's, you know, talked with different people to like collab with over the years. And um it would be a good way to have them collab, but it not be too much with cooking. Wish I could buy his food. I'm sure there's no way to get shipped right. Um, no, he has seasonings on his website right now. He's not doing any um, cooked food. He does do a lot of baking, and during the holidays, he's gonna um have a lot of like pralines and like cakes and muffins. He does a lot and stuff. He usually just does it during the holidays. Um, but they're not available right now. And then I make a pasta for me and my dad. Oh, that's nice. You two are great representation of Louisiana culture. I don't mean it in a bad way at all. Oh, no. Thanks, Diane. What's up, David? Oh, I'm sure I would end up probably being on the podcast for, um, some, some parts of it for him to kind of like have conversations and back, bounce back and, you know bounce back and forth through with conversations. I would assume so. Oh, thank you, Ruby. I appreciate it. I'm usually behind the scenes. I do like all the logistics, the comment reading, the editing, the videoing, the all that kind of stuff for him. Help him out with his website and stuff like that. I'm like the brains and Ralph is like the talent, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh. Yes, I do want to punch him on side the head. There's been a couple times behind the camera I have punched him on upside his head, especially during lives, because lives are usually, when it goes, it gets crazy. Exactly, Tim, exactly. Are you guys really from Louisiana? And if so, we're from, I'm from Baton Rouge. Yes, we are from, born and raised in Louisiana. We are currently in Louisiana. We're in Metairie, in Jefferson Parish. Even though it's so crazy, y'all, for anybody that's not from here, uh, each parish, which is like maybe kind of comparable to like counties in other states, um, like they kind of ha- like everybody kind of has their own accent in each place. And 
Like, Ralph's accent really don't sound like it's from Metairie. That's why me and him sound different. What's up, Monroe? Lives are the most fun, I know. <laughs> People say, like, screw TikTok, screw Instagram. But that is where usually the lives get real crazy. Instagram and TikTok. Because they're the most, like, free. Well, Instagram kind of isn't. Is like, what's up, Nate? Is the most free platform that you can kind of act the fool on. And there's not a lot of restrictions where you get in trouble. That's terrible, oh, bro. They was ordering all these things, bro. All the kids and get their snacks, bro. Then they had their food stamps with me hooked up. Oh, did you pay for Absolutely fucking losing that. Why? It was too much. $30. I like, can't do it, bro. Whoa, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's um, terrible. Why you didn't like tell them they got $10 or something? You're buying beers and cool cigarettes. Well, you can't buy that on food stamps anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to buy the candy for the kids and chips and stuff for the kids on food stamps. Which is fine, but... You could not bought them cools, but them, them beverages. And bought them. Oh, so he didn't even put his beers back she, in? She absolutely not. <gasps> For real? I guarantee it. Damn. Whole <laughs> cool world, man. Andrew Tate. Ralph is the real top G. Oh, uh, Ralph ain't nothing like Andrew Tate. I will beat the shit out of Andrew Tate. I love the kids, and uh, bless their heart. I hope they bring them to another store. <laughs> Them kids about to take that car out, boy. <laughs> wait, Ralph, wait. Let me flip this thing around. Hold on, hold on. So I can put it back on you. Uh-huh. What is that? Wait, hold on. This ain't working. I am not a good camera lady. All right, there we go. He's like a southern gentleman. Because someone asked me. <laughs> Your hands ain't working. <laughs> well, I'm short. <laughs> no, you you looking in the camera. That girl got her arm way down here. <laughs> Oh, and, oh yeah, we do need to do another meet and greet, Ralph. We do. That was fun. That was so much fun. He sounds like he's yeah. from Thibodeau. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Brad. Before yeah, I rudely interrupted about where his accent, like, it don't sound like he's from Metairie. A lot of people say he's shall met. Or like Tarabone Parish. Yo, so I was reading this magazine down there the other day. And come to find out, people down in Thibodeau, y'all, they don't even make a roof for their gumbo. And then let's really get crazy. They really got a lot of people that really put tomatoes in their gumbo. Like, that's a real thing. Bro, that was a whole lot of recipes. And everybody's like, that's taboo. You don't put no tomatoes in your gumbo. They do it, bro. Like, it's a real thing. Like, Did you know that Emerald does? Man, I've seen it on the menu at, at um Commander's Palace. Boy, I keep telling y'all, keep on paying for Emerald's name, bro. Well, I guarantee it, boy. Wait, huh. hold on. When Ralph gets packed, guys, they pay him. I knew this one guy from Louisiana. His name was Southern Comfort in my phone. <laughs> All right. Man, I'm telling y'all what, boy. I'm from Upper Louisiana. I'm from almost home Shreveport, Bossier area, and putting tomatoes in gumbo. Hell no. Right? Man, you're from Boss here, bro. You ordered by my boy Big Swole, bro. You buying Big Swole sausage out there or what? Oh, that boy got some good sausage out there, man. He, that's where he's at. He's not in North Louisiana. He's in Central Louisiana. Man, Boss here, I how you say that, man. Is it true Emerald made his name with Cajun cooking originally? Yeah. I yes. don't know how you veered off, bro, because, uh... Yeah, he was born and raised here. It ain't necessarily that he veered off, but he trying to make it so expensive, bro, that... But he was like a gourmet chef, a gourmet Cajun chef. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, ooh, that was good, huh, Fred? He said he whipped up your um pineapple upside down cake. It was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Ooh, some boudin. Ooh, I never. The frost of my boudin I got in the freezer. Man, you been talking about that boudin a whole week now. A whole hell? week, and I keep forgetting to take it out. That sounds so good well, right now. Who the hell you defrost it soon? You no, know, do it for me. No, you damn woman. Bro, what the fuck you Ralph the Baker? What the hell I married you for if you can't make me some damn boudin? Man, make your own boudin. I'm trying to teach you how to cook know. at this point. Mm -mm, I'm too old to learn. Yeah, I'm too old to learn. I'm setting my uh, raw chicken ways. Mm -mm. Ain't no way, man. <clears throat> 
Y'all know he's already got his own line of seasonings. Yes, indeed, baby. Down in the bayou, we don't make a gumbo with a roux. I can't believe that. I swear to God, y'all. Here I am, 40. I just learned this. So I don't understand. I mean, how would it be so... How is it not too thin? What do you make it out of if you don't make a roux first? Maybe seafood stock, some vegetables, and maybe whatever you're going to put in it. But wouldn't it make it really, really watery? Like soupy? Yeah. I never knew this. I just learned this when I was reading that magazine. I, I said, you got to be kidding me. I mean, we're going to have to investigate this. We're going to have to go try some. What we're going to have to do. We're going to have to roll over the neighbor's yard and bring the idiots. Brown onions. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to catch up. No root. What the hell? Yeah. I'm from the thing. Bayou, born and raised, Brad said. Right, Brad. Mine is not true, but in a gumbo I cook, I put a root with it. Only seafood gumbo. People put tomatoes in it. Yeah. I mean, we add filet at the end to thicken. Well, that's true. The filet does thicken it. Yeah, it would thicken it. I mean, I'm quite interested to try it now and see. Now, Ralph isn't a huge fan of filet, right? I mean, I was Isn't that something like you'll like usually leave it out? You don't really care to I prefer to use it, but I will use a little bit. But I, I think I use so little that I probably shouldn't use none. Mm hmm Why you don't like it? I don't know. Mm. I just don't feel like I need it. Never seen a gumbo without a room. Yeah, so it's a thing. I mean, it must be good if they are eating it, but I don't know. We got to go try this down and see what's going on with it. We got to go see. I, it's new, news to me. We could try it and see how it comes out. No, we ain't going to waste no pot of gumbo like that. We're going to try their gumbo and see how it is. <laughs> we ain't going to do that now. Okay, but is it a different... <clears throat> is it just a different consistency or is it different a different flavor? I guess. I don't know. All right, okra, that will thicken it too. A roux is going to give it a flavor. Your roux got flavor. What's up, Foamy Cobra? We about to get off. Now you join? Oh, boy. They're letting down the show, man. I don't know, Foamy. Man, uh, that roux going to give it a flavor, so they ain't going to have that. I love y'all. appreciate Gumbo you. Wars. I don't buy you in a month ago. A month ago. We just got to try it out. I got man. chips in my mouth. I'm sorry. We're going to just have to try it out, y'all, because we can't knock it because we ain't never tried it. I mean, look. What if Everybody. we've been making a roux for all these years and we ain't need a roux? What if we've been eating gumbo this whole time and tomatoes is bombing it? I ain't going there with you. <laughs> I'll just never know, bro. Look, this is all I am for everything. I don't give a shit how authentic your recipe is. I feel like you eat it how you want. You want a big old plump Creole tomato to float in that bitch, then do it. Eat That's your heart out. you ignorant, bro. You ain't no coach. Shut the hell up. And a big old tomato from your gumbo, you <laughs> dumbass, bro. Why you sound ignorant, bro? That'd be your damn gumbo. Have your <laughs> big old Creole tomato. I'm float, serious. Bro. You make it how you want. What if it's good? You damn fool. I'm going to dip y'all with good talking. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. We out here, too, man. We, we had a good time last hour, <laughs> we was. But, and y'all be blessed, man. Y'all have a good night. We'll be back live again soon, y'all. And uh, until then, y'all check out them new videos coming out. Oh. Check out the uh, website, y'all, RalphTheBaker.com. I got that new cookbook, y'all, so check that out. And uh, we appreciate y'all, man. We're going to be back.